procedures, marketing, or finance obligations. For example, an independent property is a family owned and operated hotel that is not required to confirm to any corporate policy or procedure. Its unique advantage is autonomy and flexibility. Independent hotels can quickly adapt to a changing market conditioning. The disadvantages of independent hotels are it's unable to volume purchase and broad advertising. Chain hotels. Chain ownership imposes certain standards, rules, policies, and procedures. Some chains have strong control over the architecture, management, and standards. The advantages of chain hotels are advertising, purchasing, and marketing. A chain is classified as operating under a management contract or franchise or referral group. Management contracts. Management companies are organizations that operate properties owned by other. In other words, management company is hired to run a hotel. Management contracting means of expanding a hotel company's operations with far less investment. The advantage, expertise in operations, financial management, staffing, marketing and reservation services franchise franchising is selling the right to conduct a business franchiser offers the quality of product and develops standards for design decor equipment and operating procedures some of the hotel some of the known hotels belonging to franchise and referral groups are Four Point Sheraton, Four Point Hotel by Sheraton are franchises. Advantage Volume Purchase, Amenities, Linen and Towels, etc. Referral Group A group of independent hotels that have banded together for their common good. Hotels within the group refer their departing guests to those guests they cannot accommodate to other properties in the referral group. Boutique hotels, these are very small and very expensive hotels and mainly cater to the elite class. Though the hotel is small, but still it has more number of restaurants. Each one is decorated keeping in view a theme and a food served. Hotel, group hotels. Group hotels are geared for volume traffic at any given time. Group hotels have large lobbies to welcome groups. They have rooms with twin beds, large dining halls to seat several groups at a time, briefing room for tour groups. They do not have the frills of business hotels. Heritage Hotels The Government of India, to boost tourism and to preserve the Indian heritage, has started a scheme where old heritage buildings and palaces constructed before 1935 were converted into hotels. Heritage Grand Hotels are more than 100 years old. Also, many Indian Maharajas 
converted their palaces into hotels. This is a picture of the Nimrana Fort Palace, which is now a hotel. Sports Hotel. Hotels having essential features like gymnasiums, health club, swimming pools, large dining halls, doctors specialized in sports medicine, specialty security to protect rampaging fans reaching their sports idols. They have dietitians for special diets for sportsmen and sportswomen. Forest hotels are located within a forest range and cater to tourists visiting the forest area. Convention or conference hotels, very large hotels, especially constructed to cater specifically to the mice, customers, meetings, incentives, convention and exhibitions. They usually operate on special tariff for groups such as an all-inclusive tariff which include room, meals, meeting room, audiovisual and other related services. JP Palace at Agra is another example of convention or conference hotel. B&B hotels. Bed and breakfast hotels are lodging establishments that provide room with breakfast ranging from the continental to the full breakfast. They offer only lodging and limited board, or as the name employs, breakfast only. Main meals are not served. Bed and breakfast hotels are usually converted residences. Ecotels. Ecotels are environment friendly hotels. The phrase environment friendly, however, is now being replaced with environmentally sensitive with the C19 Venice. This is because no hotel can be friendly to the environment since, in one way or the other, they will be through in a small way harming the environment. And the hotel industry has taken the biggest hit because of C19, hotel industry and tourism just because they do not understand that the least they can do is to be sensitive towards the environment. ITC Gardenia is a very good example of environment friendly or environment sensitive hotel. complete with a helipad. Spa hotels. The full form of spa SPA is Soles Par Equa, which means comfort. Soles means comfort. Par means with the help of or because of and Equa means water. So hotels which provide the facility of comfort with the help of water are known as spa hotels. They provide therapeutic baths and massages along with other features of a luxury hotel.
A medical spa is a facility that operates under the full-time on-site supervision of a licensed healthcare professional. Such a facility operates within the scope of practice of its staff and offers traditional, complementary and alternative services and treatments in a spa-like hotel. We have just five minutes left of this presentation. So please put in your views, comments, suggestions in the chat box. We are live with you on chat and all questions that you might have, you have the next five minutes to put them in the chat box. Transient hotels Hotels, motels and airport hotels are the best example of transient hotels. These hotels are patronized by those guests who are in transit and will be traveling further to their destinations. Sometimes these hotels also charge room rent for half a day as guests would like to stay just for a few hours. Transient hotels may have much more than 100% occupancy. Semi-residential hotels. Some of the hotels in present days are semi-residential hotels and are located throughout the country. The guests staying in these hotels are required to pay room rent on daily basis. Guests may hire the accommodation for weeks or months together, but rent charged on daily basis. The hotel may offer a special discounted rate for rooms or for other additional services. Residential hotels offer rooms, apartments on monthly or yearly advance per room is collected from the guest. Companies also hire them for months, years for their executives for pleasure, business, training, etc. These can be located in any part of the country, hill station, beach, etc. for leisure or a big city or an industrial town for business. Hotels based on meal plans, European plans, room only plan, continental plan, also known as bed and breakfast plan. This plan includes room and continental breakfast. Modified American plan, demi pension or half board. In these, the room rate includes breakfast and one major meal, either lunch or dinner. And American plan, also called end pension or full board plan. In this plan, the room tariff includes breakfast, lunch and dinner, all meals. This is very interesting. Please pay attention. We are on the last leg. Please read. Oh, let me read it out to you. The library hotel in New York City is unique in that each of its 10 floors is assigned one category from the Dewey Decimal System. The Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai, UAE, is built on an artificial island is structured in the shape of a boat's sail. The jail hotel Lovengraben in Lucerne, Switzerland is a converted prison now used as a hotel. The Luxor, a hotel and casino on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada, US, is unusual due to its pyramidical structure. The Liberty Hotel in Boston used to be the Charles Street Jail. Built in Scotland and completed in 1936, 
the former ocean liner RMS Queen Mary in Long Beach, California, United States, uses its first class staterooms as a hotel after retiring in 1967 from transatlantic service. There are several hotels throughout the world built into converted airliners. Tree house hotels. These are some more unique hotels. Some hotels are built with living trees as structural elements. For example, the tree hotel near Pilia, Sweden, the Costa Rica tree house in the Gendoka Manzinolo Wildlife Refuge, Costa Rica, the treetop hotel in Aberdare National Park, Kenya, the Ario Towers near Manaus, Brazil, on the Rio Negro in the Amazon, and Bayram's tree house in Olympos, Turkey. Straw bale hotels. Imagine hotel made of straw bale. In Naxmont Noble, a little ski resort situated on 1300 meters in the Swiss Alps, construction for the Maya guest house started in October 2011. It will be the first hotel in Europe built entirely with straw bales. Due to the insulation values of the walls, it will need no heating. Bunker hotels. The Nullstern Hotel in Treffen, Appenzell, Osserhoden, Switzerland, and the concrete mushrooms in Albania are former nuclear bunkers transformed into hotels. Then we have cave hotels. The Cuivas Pedro Antonio de Alarcon, named after the author, in Guadix, Spain, as well as several other hotels in Cappadocia, Turkey, are notable for being built into the natural cave with rooms underground. The Desert Cave Hotel in Cooper Pedy, South Australia, is built in the remains of an uh, open opal vine. Capsule hotels are a type of economical hotels that are found in Japan, where people sleep in stacks of rectangular containers. Ice and snow hotels. The Ice Hotel in Jukas Jarvi, Sweden, and the Hotel the Glass in Dushani, Canada, melt every spring and are rebuilt every winter. The Mammut Snow Hotel in Finland is located within the walls of the Kemi Snow Castle and the Leniolo Snow Hotel is part of the snow village near Yalas, Finland. Garden hotels famous for their gardens before they became hotels include Gravetti Manor, the home of garden designer William Robinson and Cliveden designed by Charles Berry with a rose garden by Jeffrey Jellico. Another category of unique hotels is underwater hotels. Some hotels have accommodation underwater such as the Uttar Inn in Lake Maleran, Sweden. Hydropolis project cancelled 2004 in Dubai would have had suites in the bottom of the Persian Gulf and Jules Undersea Lodge in Cay Largo, Florida requires scuba driving to access the guest rooms. Railway hotels. Frequently expanding railway companies built grand hotels in their termini such as the Midland Hotel, Manchester, next to the former Manchester Central Station and, the, and in London, the ones above St. Pancras Railway Station and Charing Cross Railway Station, also in London, is the Chiltern Court Hotel above Baker Street Tube Station and Canada's Grand Railway Hotels. They are or were mostly but not exclusively used by those traveling by rail. Retirement hotels are not so popular these days. These hotels cater to the needs of retired persons. A Parth Hotel 
is an apartment building also used as a residential hotel. Purchase of apartment entitles full services of the hotels and when the apartment is not occupied, then it can be added to the hotel inventory for getting revenue. This concept was initially developed by Milia Coy of Spain in 1970. Auberge, Gastoff, Herberge, these are the types of inns in various countries. Garni hotels, these hotels have no food and beverage facilities. Alternative accommodation, supplementary accommodation available outside the formal or organized accommodation sector. These establishments provide bed and breakfast and some services at reasonable prices. Sarai, Dharamshala, railway, airport retiring rooms, PG accommodation, dark bungalows, etc. The world record setting hotels of the world, largest first world hotel, Genting Highlands, Malaysia with 7,351 rooms, the Venetian and the Palazzo in Las Vegas, USA with 7,017 rooms and the third biggest hotel of the world is MGM Grand in Las Vegas with 6,852 rooms. The oldest hotel in operation today is the Hoshi Ryokan, the Awazu Onsen area of Komatsu, Japan, which opened in the year 718 and still operational. The tallest hotels of the world, JW Marriott, Marquis, Dubai, UAE, 355 meters, Rose Rehan, Dubai, 333 meters and Burj Al Arab in Dubai, 321 meters. We come to a close of the presentation. Before we leave, we would like to leave, we would like to give you a small activity. Please look at all the hotels in your city in your state, in your district, please look at all the hotels and categorize them as downtown hotel, resort hotel, convention hotels or boutique hotels. If you have understood the presentation well, it will not take you a lot of time, a lot of understanding to categorize all hotels into any one of these four categories. This is the last slide in which we would like to revise a few things. Now you are able to distinguish between various types of hotels, get an insight into classification of hotels, divide all hotels into classes, specialty hotels, get a brief idea about the facilities provided in various categories of hotels all over the world, and provide a better solution in selecting the type of hotel your acquaintances would like to use. Thank you to all the viewers. This presentation went very long, but it was essential because I wanted to include everything in it. Just before we close, I would like to thank the management, all the faculty of HMARIT, and the staff and students for encouraging me, for encouraging us in creating this presentation and sharing it with the whole world. I wish you well. Please stay safe. Please be helpful around the house. Please leave no stone unturned in developing yourself like the way you are doing right now. Be prepared for the times to come when everything will become almost as good as it was. And may God bless you. Thank you.